How's it going, YouTube? What's crack a -lackin'? This is your friendly neighborhood ball of chaos, absolute destruction here, and I am bringing you the week one team builder for the NPC season three. Now, if you don't know what the NPCC is, it's a really, uh, really great league. Um, I didn't do a team builder, I didn't do a draft, uh, Recap, and I'll just go over all my draft mods I drafted. But there's some great guys in here. Um, you turn Crowbass in here. Uh, Tesla Mouse is in here. Uh, two of the biggest names that I recognize. Um, U2 Fan Ace in here. Um, one of my buddies, Burke, from back in the day of the ISL days, is in here. Um, so there's some pretty good guys in here. We're going to guy against a guy named Max Rapture. I don't know if it's actual YouTube name or uh, that's just his Discord name. Um, but I'll have his YouTube link down below. Uh, this is all Wi-Fi basically. It's not shut on. It's Wi-Fi, so uh, that's what I'm really cool about. So, pretty much, it's we just had our draft a couple weeks ago. We had it before PokeBank even came out. Uh, we wanted to wait uh, till PokeBank was about to come out, and we had our draft, and then start the league when PokeBank came out. So it's like, yay! It's finally out. We're good to go. Um, so let me go ahead and go over my team real quick that I have. We are the Virginia Volcaronas. We are bringing in that name, but we're still sticking with that because that's who we are. Where we're from. So we have Tapu Fini, Raikou, Ferrothorn, Salamence, Azelf, Hippowdon, Embor, Apom, and Sableye. So how this draft works, and one's like, wow, he has powerful mods. Um, we were given a certain amount of points, just in total. Um, and how it worked was that we have to go through and draft depending on that. So we were all given 1,200 1, in points. We had to draft anywhere between 8 and 11 mods. And so you had your tier 1s were 180, tier 2s were 140, tier 3s were 100, 60 for tier 4, and tier 5 was 40. We don't have Megas because not all Megas are capable of coming into this generation, which sucks. <laughs> maybe once they release all the other Megas, maybe in Season 4 by then, maybe we'll be able to do it. Who knows? Um, but we are going against, um, uh, I said Max Rapture is his name. Um, he is the coach of the Tasmanian Toxicroaks. So his team that he has is Victini, Buzzwall, Mamoswine, Reuniclus, Porygon 2, Greninja, Magnezone, Klefki, Golbat, and Steelix. Now, the three Z moves, because how it works is that we can choose three mods to use Z moves. So he has Victini, Buzzwall, and Steelix are his Z move users. Now we don't have to bring Z moves on them every single week, but if we want to use them, if we want to use a Z move, those are the only three mods we can use them on. For me, we have Salamence, Embor, and Ampom are our only Z move users. Mainly just because seeing the rest of the team, none of them really I could see using Z moves effectively. Maybe Azelf could have been because it has such a wide move set, but I felt like with Salamence using a dragon or flying Z move, uh, Embor or Ampom using their respective Z moves, I, th I figured it, it would work pretty well there. So let's go over and go over the team real quick. So we start out with Mickey James, and I'm, I'm sort of going with theme. I might change the theme up every single week. I might do, like, different name themes or whatever. Or I might just stick with wrestling themes. I don't know. We'll see. Um, some of the names got cut off because when we went from showdown to here, they just didn't fit, apparently. <laughs> apparently, there's a certain gap. So, we're going to have to change some of them, just lower them to first names. But luckily, Mickey James fits. This is our Tapu Fini. Taunt, Defog, Haze, and Nature's Madness. Um, the reason why we're bringing this moveset, I've worked with uh, one of the guys in the league, um, Jacob, for a while. <laughs> We were trying to get homebrew and all that. Fun. Yes, I do gen, whatever. Um, I was trying to get all that stuff to work. I don't know why he has Poker Rust. I didn't realize I was that worked out. Whatever. Um, so we were trying to sit here and was like, we need some way to do this. So we got homebrew finally to work. Um, took us a while. We had to two, one has one system has homebrew, the other system doesn't. The system that doesn't is the one we are battling on because we need to have an updated all that stuff on there. And we can't do that with homebrew, so whatever. So, we have Taunt, Defog, Haze, and Nature's Madness. So this one took a while to figure out what exactly we're going to be doing with it. Um, so how much how it's going to work is that we have the Taunt there. It's slow Taunt, so if something like Reuniclus wants to come in and start setting up with us, we have the Taunt there to stop it setting up. Just stop. Um, we have Defog, Get Rid of Hazards, because he has plenty of mons, like Klefki, to set up Hazards, set up Screen, stuff like that. Defog can be really nice to get rid of all of that, because ain't nobody got time for that. Um, we are bringing Haze on here. Um, mainly just due to the fact that having Haze on here is going to be very useful. Mainly for things I want to set up like a Buzzwall setting up, a Reunicola setting up, um, stuff like that. Haze would be nice to have. Nature's Madness, it just brings them down to 50 HP. It uh, brings them down half. I can't kill with Nature's Madness as far as I know. But things like Porygon 2, 
Klefki, Golbat, Reuniclus, uh, Defensive Vitini, which we think he's going to bring into def Defensive Vitini, having the ability to just Nature's Madness and cut their HP in half is going to be very nice to have. Um, so, I don't remember how... Oh, wrong button. Crap. There was a way that you can check his IV spread. I don't remember how. Um, I think that was actually... You have to do that in the party. No, I thought I can do it here. Hmm. Oh well. So per, uh, I'll just say it. Uh, I was like, why is this? Why am I doing it? All right. So pretty much what we're doing. This is just a max def uh, special defensive calm set. Is what we're running here. Um, max defensive, max HP. Just this is our special defensive wall. He's that's really good physical defense, so he can eat hits from things like buzz wall and stuff like that. But having the max special defense is just what it's really known for. And it'll eat up hits from like Magnezone and stuff like that a lot easier. So that's what we have here. Next, we have my boy Moose. Well, even though it's a girl on here, God. I'll get better with this the stuff. I will. But um, we do have Moose here. Should have been a male, but whatever. Um, Stealth Rock, Slack Off, Earthquake, and Rock Slide. We were debating on some. We were going back and forth wanting to run Roar. Not run Roar, not run Rock Slide, because we're not going to, we can easily switch out something else for Crobat, whatever. I mean, not Crobat, Golbat, whatever. Um, but this is a Jolly and Push set, um, standards that you would normally run. Sand Force here we did. We didn't really think having the sand up would be really helpful for things like our own uh, Tapufini, because it just negates leftovers, so it's like, what's the point of it at that point? Um... So we decided to just go Sand Forest, just the only real ability we could run. Um, we have self watch to see Hazards. We do have Defog and Mickey James, so we'll get rid of our own Hazards. But getting Hazards up on his side of the field would be really nice to have, since he does have things like Mammoth Swine and Golbat coming on Hazards. It's not going to enjoy it. Um, and it will force Golbat to, if it wants to get rid of Hazards, he has to waste a turn to get those Hazards away by using his Defog. So there's that. We have Slack Off here and Rock Slide and Earthquake just so I can hit things. Um, Rock Slide will hit things like Buzz Wall and Golbat, while Earthquake will hit pretty much everything. I mean, Earthquake will hit pretty much everything else. Um, so that's our Moose. So that's two of our defensive walls. Um, our next defensive wall is our. Should be Chavo Guerrero. Um, so Chavo Guerrero. Um, but this is our Chavo Guerrero. Our Ferrothorn. Impish. Another defensive wall here. The standard set you would normally run, but we are. Uh, Crap! It didn't. We had eight HP, um, eight stuff, um, eight EVs that didn't go in anything. It would have been one point different, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but it is pretty much max HP, max defense. Uh, relaxed nature, because we want to lower the speed, because we are running the gyro ball thing here. Gyro ball will pretty much destroy ma uh, Mammoth Swine. Downright, so that's why we didn't bring Lucy. I mean, not Lucy. Power Whip, because you would think running Power Whip would be sort of important for his team. But looking at his team, Gyro Ball just hits things better than Power Whip does. Um, I can at least hit Crobat. I mean, not, I can say Crobat. Golbat for at least neutral instead of having to run Leech, uh, Power Whip and hit it for four times resisted. So we we'll have that there with Leech Seed just to get up something. He doesn't have a Grass type, so we well, don't have to worry about Leech Seed not working. Um, so that's pretty nice to have. We have knock off there just so I can knock off Eviolates and stuff like that. Just, I know it's like, okay, he's going to send in his scroll battle on my Ferrothorn. Let me go for knock off here just to get rid of the Eviolate. And that means Jar Ball hit more. And protect just so we can sort of scout to see what they're going to do. Um, and we can also get more Leech Seed recovery back. So that's our Shabu Uh I'm really excited. I, I'm excited to use Ferrothorn. Like the core of Ferrothorn, Moose, and Mickey James. Uh, I, I said Ferrothorn and then named, nicknamed the other two. Between Hippaladon, Tabufini, and Ferrothorn, they just cover the weaknesses so well. Like, oh, you want to worry about Mickey James with a Thunderbolt? Let me go into Moose with Shabu Guerrero here. Don't have to worry about that. Oh, you want to hit Shabu Guerrero with a Fire type move? Let me switch into Mickey James here. Oh, you want to go for an Ice type move on Moose? Let me switch into Mickey James or Shabu Guerrero. Like, it, it works so. A Water type move? Oh, let me switch into Shabu Guerrero or Mickey James. Like, it doesn't matter. It works very, very well. So, next. We got my boy Rusev Machka. 
Um, Rusev, the M board here, choice ban reckless, just destroys lives. He has nothing that's a true safe switch in from this thing. Um, because I can go for anything. Flare Blitz destroys everything besides maybe like Victini. But then I also have Head Smash, so, and he has no safe, no safe switch for Head Smash. Um, besides for Steel types, but then the Steel types are only hit by Flare Blitz or Hammer Arm. So it's just, this thing just does the work. So good. Um, and then we also have Sucker Punch here. So that if he does want to run, like, Victini, um, and if he, he has to be, like, max defensive, max HP to possibly live two, two hits from the Sucker Punch. Um, if he, and if he's running that, um, actually, I think we counted at, if he's max HP, max physical defensive, might have run a little bit of, um, speed investment in there. If Stealth Rocks are up, Sucker Punch is a 2 KO after Stealth Rock damage and leftovers. So, and he sent Oko me with Psychic. So, we good. We good, we good, we good. And more Rusev is just too damn good, too damn good. I cannot wait to use him. Um, he's very, very powerful. Uh, I drafted him just because I wanted to have that hard thing. I've seen so many people use m and I was always skeptical of it, thinking that wasn't that good. Seeing people run it, oh my god, it's too damn good. It's too damn good. Um, next we got my boy Kazarian. I probably pronounced, I probably spelled his name wrong. Let me see if I spelled his name wrong. Because now I'm, like, questioning myself. Kazarian. Kazarian. Uh, did I spell your name wrong? K-A-Z-A-R-I-A-N. Did not spell it wrong. Alright. That makes me happy. Um, uh, so we have Kazarian here. Um, if y'all don't know who Kazarian is, you need to go look him up. He is great. Um, but running the, um, the Jolly, which normally think we're running only 140 speed. So we should have enough speed in here to outspeed a Choice Scarf. Uh, no, no, no. We'll out, out, outspeed a max speed timid, um, uh, Victini. So he does want to run that. So we do have that there. Uh, we out, we don't outspeed a Greninja, but... There really was no real way about speeding a Greninja, I don't think, at this point. Um, so that's not too much of an issue. But we do have the no, uh, Nomilium Z, so we had that uh, Breakneck Blitz. So if he has something in there that's not a Steel Tape or Fighting Tape, this is going to hurt. <laughs> it's going to hurt. Even on the Steel Tape, it's like it's mid Magnezone, it might still do a lot. But things like Mammal Swine, Reuniclus, Porygon 2, Greninja, Golbat, Vitini. They're all not going to want to take that. Breakneck Blitz is going to hurt. Um, very much so. Then we have U-Turn. Just we have some sort of switch initiative. Knock off and fake out. So, standard pretty much set. You would normally run on a uh, Technician Ambipom here. Just we have the normal MZ instead of like the normal gem. So, uh, Acrobatics could have been nice to have on here. Just thinking about that now. But then he has so many Steel types. Acrobatics wouldn't have been able to really do much anything besides through the buzz wall. So... Gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, so, our final mon that we have is our... It should be Trish Stratus. It cut off at the last letter. I was like, no! But this is our Trish Stratus. Uh, it is Elf here. Naive, because mainly we wanted to just lower special defense. We didn't really need it. Because we are running knockoff and all special attacking moves. So, knockoff doesn't have to be a weekend. Um, 140 speed, choice scarf. So, we pretty much outspeed a choice scarf max speed um, Victini. I think. I think. Which, uh, yeah, because this speed will outspeed a timid Vikini, and then with Choice Scarf will outspeed that even more. So, we're outspeeding everything else. Saying. Nothing is being is outspeeding me unless he's running a Choice Scarf for Ninja. Um, but we're going to Psychic, Energy Ball, Flamethrower, and Knock Off. So, we pretty much have coverage for his whole entire team. Um, knock Off for things like, of course, his Golbat and his Porygon 2. Get rid of those and then switch out into something that can handle it. And we get to go. So I'm really happy to the team. I'll go over it one more time. We got our Mickey James, our uh, Tabufini, we got Moose, our Hippowdon, we got Rusev, Machka, our uh, Embor, we got Shavu Gadero, our Ferrothorn, we got Kazarian, our Empom, and we got Trish Stratus, our Azelf. I'm really happy to use Azelf. I'm so glad Azelf is here. I love Azelf, my favorite legendary of all time. So I'm really happy to use him, um, or her, to know these Trish Stratus. Um, but I'm really happy to use them. It's going to be a great team. Uh, I wanted to record this before. We are going to be battling here momentarily. 
So I wanted to record this before we battled so I had that ready to go. But I want to thank you all for coming out and watching this video. Please hit that like that button down below for us. Uh, let me know if there's any set changes you might have think that we could have done differently for this battle. Uh, the battle will be going up. This will be going up on Friday, so the battle will be going up tomorrow. So definitely go check that out and hit that subscribe button for us. Just to help us grow this channel. And with that, we will see you in the next video. Peace.